Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining us today and uh, welcome for today's webinar. Uh, today we have the fourth web webinar in a row uh, and we are doing a series of webinar focused on IDEA Statica Still Connections. And uh, these webinars should help you to understand better our unique solution. As usually, uh, we use uh, GoToWebinar, so you can see panel on the right and enter questions uh, into this message window. Uh, you are uh, in listen-only mode, so please use uh, the chat window when you have any question. Uh, let me introduce uh, myself and uh, my colleagues. Uh, my name is uh, Marek Michna. I am a consultant for sales and support in Idea Statica. And uh, I have here uh, product engineers Jana and Adam, and they will show you uh, practical use of software on four examples which uh, they prepared. Uh, let's see on uh, today's examples. The first one is uh, bolted uh, plate uh, to plate. Uh, you will clearly see how uh, you can design such connection. Uh, you can see uh, then how uh, bolts are, are loaded and uh, this graphical uh, this graphical features can help you to make your design more economical and safe. The second one is uh, related to BIM link uh, with advanced design. Uh, we will show you how to take the model uh, of uh, or model of structure and take it for uh, design of connections from the software. Uh, the third one is uh, also related to BIM link but now uh, we show the link with advanced steel, also some uh, very complex join which is possible uh, to design in our uh, software. And uh, the last uh, example is related to join design resistance and this is also a very useful feature which gives you information uh, how far your design connection is from the limit state and in fact uh, how big is the re reserve in the design and how safe it is. So these four examples we prepared today. Uh, again, uh, webinar is recorded and it will be possible to access on our website uh, during three days and you also uh, receive the email with the link uh, to access the record. And also you can ask uh, after the webinar for trial version and uh, just click yes, no in the form which will uh, appear. So now let's jump to the practical part. I will give a presenter to Adam and we will start the practical session. Hello everybody. This is Adam again and next week Connection Wednesday again. So greetings to um, everybody for the first time or fourth time. Today um, we'll start with an, let's say, um, updated tutorial number one, which is bolted plate to plate. So I'll show you how to get uh, this picture at the end and give you some tips for modeling and checking uh, such a connection in Idea Statica. All right, so let's start a new project. And uh, I'll just have some predefined topology. Uh, that's I'm going to change right away. I'll just change the cross section here. This time I would like to have the welded uh, cross-section of the eye shape. So I'll select this one and here I will just uh, adjust the dimensions to such a shape. All right, that's it. 
and I would like to have it the same cross-section for the second beam as well. So this is it. Let's go to the loads and it input some load effects. So for example, like those. And I finish the design with the uh, operation uh, plate to plate. Select the uh, default bolt assembly. So I'll have I'll have this one, this size, and this crate. Okay, this is it. And we just slightly um, change the uh, setup of this operation. You see I just changed the thickness of those plates, uh, made a little gap here to set the welds up there have enough space and I'll now set the bolts to the right positions like this. Okay, and at last I'll change the thickness of the welds and place them also to those caps here. All right, so this is it. Let's calculate this. This is a pretty simple joint. And uh, the thing I want to show you here is that uh, now we go to check the results. It's all green orange, so it passed the checks. Nothing is red, and you can see it in the tab here as well. It's all right, but as we can see right away, from the first look that some of the bolts here are gray, that means the usage or utilization of those bolts is under 60% of its capacity. And if we click on, uh, for example, this bolt here, um, a tap of bolts here opens, and we can see the our selected bolt in the tab. And we can see here that actually the force um, in the in the wall, this is uh, actually zero for the tension and some really small force for the shear. So this is actually almost unused bolt, and we can see other bolts such as this here in the list. So we can go through them, and we can find that those are those four here on this side and those four here on the other side. Those are the unused bolts. So imagine if you use such a connection like 100 times in a construction, so we can save a lot of bolts and a lot of um, working time for the workers on the side to install such, a, such bolts that we don't really need there. So. What we can do, we can just uh, delete those bolts and we do it that we go to design and click editor here. Here we have three tabs for shape. This is this is for shaping the plate, the connecting plate. I'll show you a bit later. Then we have bolts here. All the bolts are listed here by the numbers and we can work with them. And the last is drawing that we can see a drawing of the plate with the dimensions and so on. So let's go to the bolts tab and here if we click explode we can now edit those bolts. We can edit its positions. If I for example select number 19 which I would like to delete we can like here change the position of the bolt as we wish or we can just delete the bolt as I would like to do. So now I'm going to delete those um, bolts are, that are um, unused. And um, this is just a little bit of clicking. I can tell you that in the next version of IDEA, there will be the multiple selection of those bolts. So that would be even better. So like that, just click OK. Bolts are 
delete it and we can recompute and see if we pass the checks of the code, if it's all right. And it is, those bolts were really unused. So without them, connection is just working fine. So this is it and for, I have one, uh, another tip for you with the editor. If you get back here and imagine you have to, you have to make some holes or, or, or shape the, the plate of the connection for, for example, to have some pipes, uh, some installations to go through uh, along the beam uh, at the ceiling, for example, or like that. So we have those um, operations here to um, work with the shape of the plate. And I can show you just uh, one example, how to make um, a rectangle and circular holes. So we click here on the notch, uh, oh, sorry, not notch, but the hole. And here we select uh, from the list circle, rectangle or other shapes. So I'll have rectangle here and I will just uh, input the uh, coordinations and so on. And I can rotate it as well. All right, so first hole is done. This is just an example. So I'll, I'm just making it a little bit crazy maybe. Uh, so I'll copy this operation and make another hole. Just change some numbers here. And I have it like this. And then I will add another hole that will be circular with the center here and move it here and diameter of 80. So it's here now. And I'll add some more holes to finish this side of the plate. So let's have fun with that <laughs> and don't forget the left side of the plate. So we can have like two tubes there going through it. So I'll put it here because I like to play with this. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just having fun. <laughs> All right. So we're done. Click OK. And this is it. I will just turn off the, the, the bearing here by clicking load so we can see it better. So this is, this is done, the shaping of the plate. We have just, you can see two bolts uh, flying in the air actually here. So what I have to do is go to the bolts again and just delete them because they are obviously of no use in such place. All right, so this is it, pretty simple. Just recalculate and we'll see if even connection with such holes would pass the, the check or not. So now we can see the iteration process and the calculation going on. And it, it takes some time. So obviously there's something going on and probably we won't pass the checks. So I was right. This is this is just in the red color. That means we didn't pass the check with those bolts and those welds. So probably as we made holes in the place, they got too soft to bear such loads. So I'll just try to correct it maybe add some thickness of the plates here. All right, and let's see if this helps. If this is enough to, to make the connection stiff. So it would take the loads and pass the checks and it did. So fine, we're done. That was it. 
you can you can try your own and play with making holes in the plate and uh, even other operation like notches and so on. So this is from my side, and of course, um, just to tell you, you can export those those plates uh, to a drawing to a CAD software. If you go to Bill of Material and you click Add Drawing here, uh, you can see uh, this list. And you can just you know give to manufacturer or so on, or you can see the drawing here as well, and you just export to DXF and open it in some CAD software to work with that and so on. So that was it. I'm giving presenter to Jana now, who's going to show you a link with uh, Adwan's uh, design. Hello everyone, this is Jana. Uh, in the second example, uh, I will show you how to design and check connection imported from another software, from a structural software. This time it's advanced design. So I have such a nice hole modeled in advanced design. I have already uh, around the calculation of the internal forces, etc. And I want to design, for example, this corner joint. So therefore, I will go to analysis. I can show you, yes, this is already uh, analyzed model. You can see some displacements here. And the export of the joint is uh, really simple. Uh, you just uh, mark the joint, select the joint with all the with all the connecting parts of it and you go in the main ribbon to BIM and press the button ADC. Okay, so this uh, import wizard opens automatically and again I can choose between two codes so far between Eurocode and US code and in the next step, I will see the main uh, structural scheme of the joint. So I'm satisfied, satisfied with that. Uh, the next step is an overview of load groups and of uh, combinations of load. Uh, and because I have about 20 of them, so not to be uh, so slow with the calculation, uh, I will just choose one which I will import, but I can import all of them only uh, for the sake of the speed of the calculation, I will leave only one combination in the import. So after I press uh, the button next, so I can see the final overview of the imported combination and I will finish. And the connection should open automatically in Idea Statica connection. So we will see. Something is happening. Yes. So we are now in Idea Statica. We have imported the geometry of the main members of the connection. So you can see them here. And also we have imported the load effects. So if I go to load effects, I can see that my combination 105 was imported with all the forces inside. So I don't have to take care of it anymore. I will go back to geometry uh, because I want to do, uh, do just one thing here. Uh, and it will be uh, the type of the model for these two diagonals because I will connect them with bolted connections. Therefore, uh, they will behave more like a hinge and who uh, has watched some previous Connection Wednesday already knows that if we are connecting something with a hinge, we should change the model type of this member from this one to the uh, one which corresponds to hinge. So there are only forces transmitted. So I will change the model type for the first diagonal and also also for the second diagonal. 
Okay, that's it. So this was the only thing I wanted to do here and I will proceed directly to the design of the connection. So first of all, I will connect uh, the left part of the joint so I will probably make the column a little bit longer to match the top surface of the of this beam so I will add the first manufacturing operation and it will be cut so even though it's called cut it makes uh, the the column longer if I uh, set it correctly so I want to cut uh, the member 79 uh, by member 11 and I want to cut it with the farther surface yes like this and I will add a little offset here okay so that's it it looks nice and now I will connect the member 11 to the column uh, with an end plate so I will use the operation end plate and I will define the bolt types it will be M16 of grade 6.8 for the beginning we will try probably it will be enough so I have to change the member 1 to 011 connect it to the column which is 79 okay like this and I will adjust uh, the size of the end plate uh, I will change from symmetrical to non-symmetrical which enables me to define all the dimensions of the of the plate okay like this because I will use the the plate also to connect the diagonal so I made it a little bit longer downwards okay and I will adjust the spacing of the bolts again so like this I will make three rows of of bolts yes okay so uh, I will leave the thickness of the plate and also the welds set by the default value with the double fillet welds now I will connect the diagonal to this end plate so I will use a gusset plate and I want to connect a member 283 to a new plate and this plate will be uh, will be related to the member uh, to the to the horizontal beam and also it will be co uh, related to the end plate EP1 okay we can see like this I will just make it a little bit thinner and I will adjust the size of it okay the gap is okay and I will change the alignment from center to rear yes like this so now we can choose between welded and bolted connection so as I advised at the beginning I want to use the bolted uh, bolted connection with bolts with two bolts uh, so I will just adjust the spacing okay so that should be it I can change the weld from one side to double side fillet weld all right so I'm done with the left part now let's move to the to the right part so probably this horizontal beam uh, will be connected with another end plate uh, so I will connect beam 51 to the column okay again I don't want it to be symmetrical so I will change this option and I will adjust 
Uh, I will just adjust the the size of it. Okay. All right, balls. Let's try these ones. We don't have to. We don't have to change them. And let's try. Uh, more bolts like this. Okay, again, I made it a little bit longer because I want to connect the diagonal here as well. Okay, so the last step is to connect, connect the diagonal. I will use the connecting plate, which is this operation. And I want to connect the, the member uh, 195 to a new plate. This plate will be related to member uh, first to the plate EP2 and also to member 251. Okay, like this. We can see there's already something modeled here. We just need to uh, adjust the thickness and the spacing. Okay, I made it a little bit shorter I will shift the connection position a little bit like this okay and I want I will change the type of the connection from cap plate which is uh, non-symmetrical to double cap plate so you can see it. okay it's here I think I can just skip all these settings the bolt is fine the find the position is here and let's say we can go to check if such a design of connection will pass the criteria so i will just press calculate and we'll see if if the input was done correctly Yeah, so we can see who already saw the software knows that if we don't see any red color at this uh, first page of the results, we are fine with the design. So we can see there are parts gray which are loaded below 60%, which are, for example, all the balls. So as Adam showed you before, we could go to design back and change it for for example, weaker bolts or smaller ones. Uh, and the weakest spot, let's say, is the orange, which is loaded somewhere between 95% to 100% of the limit, which are these bolts, uh, sorry, welds. So we can start, if you want to make it stronger, you can start here. Uh, so let's go a little bit also through the analysis for those who don't know the software so if you go to check uh, so first of all the, this is the traffic light function but you can also go to more detailed results for example to strain check where you can see the main parts where the where the strain the highest strain appears and also very interesting is the equivalent stress you can, if you click on some part of the connection, you can directly see in this middle part uh, the corresponding figure for the for the part and also the corresponding line in the table, which tells me uh, what is the plastic strain and if I'm under the limit. So, for example, I can. I can click on different parts of the connection and directly see what is the load. Or if I'm interested, for example, in balls, I can also change them here. In this section, I can op for each bolt, I can open the formulas which are checked according to appropriate code, which I have chosen uh, at the beginning. I can see also welds here. How are they? loaded and etc. Another option is to display the plastic strain. 
and of course I can display the mesh and the deformed shape of the of the structure like this. And what well, maybe last thing is the bold forces uh, which are displayed just here and if I click on the arrow I'm back in the table for the corresponding bolt. Okay, so probably we are satisfied with the connection and I can I can pass the presenter back to Adam who will show you uh, another example of import this time from a CAD software. Okay, Mick here. Hope you're enjoying today's session and we're going to continue with the um, advanced deal link with Idea Statica. So I have prepared an example of a steel construction, a part, a part of a steel hull. And from this example, I will select, the, of course, the most complex joint that we can find on it. So this will be this one. So let's just import it. I type the uh, con check and just select a point on the construction, select the beams, four, five, press enter and now select with the box the all the items of the joint such as plates, bolts, welds and so on. And directly idea opens with the imported geometry and all the operations. So this is how it's looking. So it's all there. So if we go to geometry, we can see five, five members and we can proceed to load effects and this is only thing that is missing because it's CAD software for drawing and not for calculating. So I will add load effects by myself. So I'll add a new load effect and I can fill the table like this, just inputting numbers or I like the other way better which is to import um, those numbers from an Excel sheet which I've prepared here. This is it. So I will simply copy and paste those numbers, those forces into IDEA and you can see in the table also in the 3D window that it's in the right place. You can check it visually in the display as well. So this is it and uh, now we can just directly go to check or you can just make a stop in design if you wish to see all the operations that were loaded from the advanced deal and if we go to check you can just let it calculate and since this is rather complex joint, this would take some time because my computer is not the fastest one. <laughs> so in the meanwhile, in the meantime, um, you can maybe take a look at our web page. This is ideastatica.com and here you can see maybe a section blog. Here we give all the news and what's going on in IDEA. So, um, you, can, you can read interesting articles here, some tips for you, news and so on. So, if your IDEA is calculating and you don't want to get bored, you can take a look here. So let's check if this is done. All right, calculation is done and 
this is not looking right. It's not looking well. Let's see the uh, the overview. This is all gray, some green parts here, but if we take a look here in the tab, we can see a red status, red cross here in the analysis. And that means here the value is 2.7%. It means uh, the calculation didn't finish uh, correctly. There has to be 100%. It actually says the what the percentage of the loads that were applied on the model. So we didn't apply 100% of the loads, only 2.7%. So this is not right. And why did this happen? Because this is all looking right, okay? We forgot one thing, or I forgot that. Um, to go to geometry, and here we have a diagonal, which is connected only with one bolt. And, and this is a typical connections for um, diagonals that are used only for, for tension forces. And uh, in IDEA, we have a setting for this. We have, you have to um, change it yourself. Select the member five in geometry and change the model type to the last one. And there only tension and shear forces are allowed in, the, in this member. So this is basically a setting for, uh, for um, diagonals or tension only members. So this is just um, a simple repair, let's say, of the model and let's check it again. And it would take again a minute or so. So let's get back to our web page and see our resource center for those that haven't been there yet. So you click resources here and you go to Idea Statica Steel and you get into our resource center with a bunch of useful information for you. You can see um, all the theoretical stuff. You can see uh, examples of, uh, of uh, the usage of Idea Statica in the world and interesting um, projects. And you can see also the tutorial section where you can find also um, a page for uh, advanced steel link which is here and you can go through it on your own go through the example that we have here for you to try it on your own you have a uh, source files here to download and and just play with that okay let's get back this has just finished right at the time so now we can see the analysis is right. It's 100% of the loads were applied. And we can see the touch on checked. It's all green, some weld is orange. So we fulfilled the code checks, the criteria. And that's it, we're done with the work. And you can just go through the um, um, result displays here as Jana showed you or you can go directly to print out the report for the calculation you can print it from the detailed that is the best choice maybe here we have three one line one page uh, which are the short versions and detailed that are the full version of the report and you can even um, maintain your own um, selection what would you like to display in the report so basically it's all there all the pictures checks all the numbers and so on and you can just print it on the paper print it to pdf or save it to a document to um that you can process in a in a word software so that's it, that's from my side, and I'm giving presenter back to Jana. It's going to show you uh, joint design resistance type of calculation. So bye for now. 
Hello back. So the last example uh, will be maybe uh, quite short, but I think it's uh, nice to show you also another type of analysis uh, which Idea Statica Connection offers. So you can see I'm still here uh, in, in the project of the modeled bolt. But this time I will show you different type of analysis than the stress strain and also different type of analysis from the ones which were shown before. So if I want to change the type of analysis, I have to go to project items and the best way uh, not to lose the solution from, from the previous calculation is to copy the item, not to change it directly here it's also possible to change, but the better option is to copy and change it for the copied item. So I will change it to join design resistance. I will go back to the check and start the calculation. And meanwhile, I will talk a little bit about this type of calculation. So in the previous sessions, you could uh, already seen uh, you could already see the stiffness analysis. It was last Wednesday when uh, the rotational stiffness of a uh, joint was joined, uh, was shown and explained how important it is. Uh, we have also member capacity design. It was shown, I guess, in maybe in the first connection Wednesday. This type of analysis is really convenient for regions with seismic load and this uh, oh you sorry you also could see the buckling analysis the second Wednesday and this week I want to show you the joint resistance design which basically tells us how far from the limit uh, the joint is which, which means the joint is uh, loaded proportionally and the limit state is searched. So we are, we are going behind the, the load which was applied, which we checked, it was okay, but maybe we want to increase the load a little bit. So we want to see um, how many times or how much can we increase the load? So the result of the analysis is some factor. In our case, it says it's 117%. So we can apply 1.17 times the load which was applied in the load effects. So we can maybe increase the load a little bit or another information for us from the analysis is also how safe we are with the joint, how far from the limit we are. So it's also useful, useful tool for structural engineer, I guess. So, so oh, I'm sorry, I have lost the diagram. Oh, yeah, it's here back. Okay, so you can see that on this diagram, the 100% uh, percent limit is the load which we applied there already and the analysis goes beyond this to, until it reaches the design resistance. So, and basically <laughs> that's all. It was fast, maybe, uh, maybe to show you again the project items if you want to I don't know, maybe perform the stiffness analysis, you can copy the joint again and start the stiffness analysis and you can also copy for the member capacity design. So you can easily check all by one in one project just by using these project items correctly. Okay, so that was fast, it was all, and now we can go to some questions, if there are any. So I will thank pass you. the presenter back to, uh, back to Marek. Okay, thank you, Jana, and also Adam for presentations. And uh, before uh, we go to the questions, just very quickly, let me invite you for the next week. 
Uh, in the same time, uh, we will have uh, another webinar, so you can already register in on our website, ideastatica.com webinars. You will see this order form or register form, and we have another set of examples which we will show show you. These are from our customers, so you will see how they use our software and the another two are about uh, BIMLink from RFM and from Revit. So now let's look on the questions. Uh, we have some questions uh, from you. Uh, let's start uh, uh, with the first one. There was question about uh, calculation model. Uh, in fact, what calculation model is used in uh, in idea connection? Uh, who will answer? Jana, you. Uh, can you yeah. Say? Okay. Maybe I will give you a presenter. Okay. Yeah. Give me please the presenter back. Uh, so the calculation model uh, basically it's uh, a little bit modified uh, finite element analysis. Uh, it's Actually, it is a combination of component, uh, component method and finite element analysis. Uh, maybe the good thing is to send, uh, send the attendees to resource center as usual. And for example, in FAQs, we have something uh, about the method which I don't <laughs> I don't know where it is directly it's somewhere in this first impressions uh, mm -hmm. first impressions yes for example like this uh, so if you go through for this okay yeah here it is so how do I know that idea static connection is safe yeah so here is uh, for example the introduction to the component met method. So it's not the full finite element method which, it, which is used for example in ANSYS and Abacus, but it's uh, it's the method uh, useful for the connection. So we cannot model all the structure, uh, but for the connection this method performs very well. And just a small remark, uh, you can also put this theoretical background into your yeah. protocol when you calculate your connection, there is possibility. Yeah, I can add. show it. Mm -hmm. So in the in the detailed uh, detailed report, uh, sorry because we, I didn't perform the analysis, but uh, the option here is the last line, it's theoretical background, you just ma uh, check this box and refresh and you can also add the theoretical background to your report which of course is also uh, placed in the resource center here theoretical background this document is quite detailed about the modeling and so on Okay, thank you. So the the another question: What codes are included in software? Uh, well, so far uh, we can calculate and check the joints according to Eurocode and also uh, US codes. And just in few days uh, will be the Canadian code released and. In the next uh, development, we will also include the Australian code, I guess. So, so it's uh, getting more and more codes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the next question: uh, We saw the uh, bolted plate-to-plate -plate connection, and we saw there are cir circle holes. The question is, is it possible to design slotted holes in plate or to define uh, the slotted hole? Yeah, I understand. Well, it's not possible so far, but I can promise that it will be included in the next version, which will be uh, version 
8.2 and it will be released in the October this year. So from October on we should be also able to model the slotted holes which means not circular but uh, oval oval and elliptical mm -hmm. holes. Okay and uh, the next uh, question can we use user-defined material for plates, bolts and welds? Maybe Adam? Well, maybe, yeah, maybe I'll pass to Adam, so he will uh, maybe fall, I can, fall asleep. <laughs> I, can, I can answer this question, maybe I'm, I'm answering questions from our chat here also. Um, so, about the, uh, the materials, um, if you go into idea and here's the uh, uh, section for material and if you go to the steel you can just uh, um, apply change or just set completely your custom steel material or or other material with those numbers this is a elastoplastic model and you can just adjust it completely to your own wish and this is for plates and members steel and uh, it's not yet the same way for bolts but this is coming also in the new version in in the autumn in October this will be also possible for bolts to to change the uh, uh, the behavior, uh, the material model for bolts as well and define it uh, on your own. Okay, Ad Adam, can you show also where you can switch the code? Uh, that was the remark to, to question. Um, uh, the code for yeah. the calculation? Okay, the calculation. You, you do it at the, at the start if you click a new project here you have a, a list of codes and here you switch the code here's the European and the American code AISC mm -hmm. and regarding to this there's the list of materials the library of, of the steel material um, mostly used in Europe and in US mm -hmm. Okay, uh, the next question, how can we view the result force in the plate and bolts? Maybe you can mm -hmm. open some calculated models. Yes, here. Let's see that. Uh, so the plates are listed here in this tab, plates. And for plates, uh, if we click, for example, a crew on stress and we select some, like this one, we can see the, uh, the stress distribution in the plate according to the scale here on the right. And it's in the list here as well in the tab. And we can see the information um, here in the, in, the, in the row. And for bolts, uh, there is a, a similar tab. Um, so I'll just make it a little bit bigger and uh, you can see for example I know this bolt the forces in the bolt and the utilization uh, re regarding to the code check and you can open also the, the, the code equations how it was calculated it's all written here all right Okay, thank you. And uh, maybe uh, the last question, uh, could you please explain the joint design resistance <laughs> again? Uh, does the factor mean the maximum loads that connection can take? Uh, well, yes, uh, yes, you are right, but uh, you are proportionally increasing the already applied load, which means for, for example, another combination of load, for example, you will 
uh, if you load one member more and another member less, then it can be, of course, different. But for such combination of load, if I multiply it, which I don't know, I don't remember, 1.17 times, I should reach the capacity of the joint. So I will reach the first first member, the weakest weakest spot of the joint. Uh, its limit. So, yes. Okay. So, uh, maybe the last uh, question. I have, I have uh, also, I got a question here on the list as well. Um, where can we find the, um, if we can find the, the last webinars, so there was an interest in the last examples that we were showing last uh, Wednesdays. Where can we find it? So I'll show you. Just uh, go to ideastatica.com and uh, on the main page there's Connection Wednesday section here. And if you click here, see all webinars. They are all listed here. So those that are upcoming at the end of July and those that were uh, already uh, done and those are recorded. So if you click on any, you can see what was going there and you can see the video and just play it here. It's on our YouTube channel and you can just watch it and, and learn about the the lessons that you missed. And in three, approximately two, three days, you will be also able to watch uh, this, today's webinar. Okay, so uh, I think I see uh, th there are more questions now rising uh, in chat window, but uh, we will answer them uh, by email. Yeah, so we always are answering all the questions, so we will get email from us. So uh, let me thank you for your time and uh, we will see you on, on the next webinar. And uh, let me thank to Jana and to Adam for today's webinar. And so if you have any other questions, please send them by email. Uh, have a nice day and goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye-bye.